Fortnite Season 2 will have a waterbending mythic, a new Star Wars collabs, and an entire collab event. It's all a part of Epic's master plan with updates, and one of the first we'll see is the next shield bubble. Sure, we've seen this before, but now Epic are finally bringing it back with a twist. It's a junior version making it a lot smaller. Seems bad at first, until you remember the main problem with this item was that it was so easy to walk in and just attack. Now it's your own personal bubble, making it harder for enemies to counter, and the best part, it'll stop anything this season, even Zeus's lightning. Speaking of mythics, Fortnite isn't even close to being done. Leakers have found even more gods like Hephaestus with his own fire hammer. Just like the others, it'll have unique attacks and abilities, so the content for this season is already looking stacked. And it keeps coming with more info about the event everyone has been waiting for. The return of Midas is just around the corner, and it's so much bigger than we all thought. He'll return with a brand new King version and introduce our second LTM of Chapter 5, the fan favorite Floor's Lava. It'll start with volcanoes erupting all around the island before the entire place starts to fill up with molten gold. You'll even be offering free rewards by completing quests in the LTM. You'll be able to bank some XP, sprays, and a pickaxe of the shark that ate him. Doesn't stop there, because over in BR, you'll be able to find golden chickens to get free bars by opening their eggs, and bite his vending machines to purchase legendary items. You'll also be able to fulfill his lore by completing snapshot quests with the entire OG crew for a truckload of XP and more cosmetics with a golden touch. Not the only special event coming later this season, because May the 4th is also coming soon. Just like usual, we'll be getting lightsabers, blasters, but this year's new item is the Wookiee Bowcaster. Fans will recognize it as Chewbacca's iconic weapon, so expect to see him drop as the new skin for 2024, along with the return of other characters. The crazy items just don't stop, because we already have confirmation of water bending arriving from Avatar. You can see Korra as the secret skin of the season, and she'll be available on April 2nd, and that's not all. Leaks have revealed an entire Elements Pass with Aang, Katara, and more that'll be around until May 2nd. We can expect a total of four different mythics in total, which you'll be able to grab from special chests. Epic have also managed to fit in a second wave for another collab at some point during the season, with an upcoming tournament leaking Jujutsu Kaisen's return with more cosmetics. There's also files for one more unknown mythic called Tired Panda, which makes sense since there's a literal panda in the show. Turns out there's even more godlike powers on the way that are completely original. Mount Olympus will be serving us with a brand new food item in a future update that'll grant regenerative healing for a short duration, as well as super jump, unlimited stamina, and faster sprinting. I know, it sounds OP enough, so what is it? A golden banana, yeah. They turned the Greek legend of a golden apple from the Garden of the Hesperides and Fortniteified it. If you prefer powers of the underworld though, then just wait for the brand new Chains of Hades. We've already seen a preview of them in the trailer, some players even got their hands on them for a few hours in Team Rumble. The boss himself uses it when fighting you, but he doesn't drop it yet. In a future update, we'll be able to get our hand on the chain ourselves and use it to pull enemies in before using a second attack to deal damage. While you're checking out the underworld, you might have spotted this mysterious door. It's the cell currently holding Midas in chains, but thanks to replay mode, we've got an early look at how he'll break free, melt the door to gold, and eliminate a guard before turning the reboot card golden. And while we know that he's missing his left hand thanks to Kato Thorn, one thing that's left us speechless is his glowing rib cage. Beneath his model, leakers have found a whole skeleton torso. The last time something like this happened was with the Mecha Strike Commander when we discovered the secret arc reactor before the event and emote. So perhaps he'll have a ghostly edit style or something. Or maybe he'll even be a boss with an undead form since we know his iconic weapon is also making a return, the drum gun. It is one of Fortnite's most infamous weapons. Brand new additions have been added for chapter five, letting you mod it with scope and suppressors, so if you thought it was OP before, the wait until you see the new one. It'll probably be in the item shop, but for those worried if you'll be sold in the crew, not to fear. April's pack has already been confirmed as Ares, the God of War. You can already find him as a boss at Brawler's Battleground if you want to mystique the skin early, but leakers have also found his hidden second style. Just like other packs, you'll probably get it for subscribing for an additional month, followed by the usual gold, silver, and galaxy styles for up to six months total. And it's not just Ares being teased in front of us, because you could also see him using the D Eagle in the cinematic trailer. This time it'll be moddable, letting you equip a scope, speed grip, and more. So get ready for this fan favorite to get even better. If the season's already got you low on V-Bucks, I don't blame ya. There is so much to buy now, but turns out there's gonna be a small bonus coming your way. The next starter pack will be released in a week, giving us Clara, along with her pickaxe, back bling, and 600 V-Bucks. We're also gonna be getting our second Lego starter pack, this time featuring Bright Agent. Not only does it include a skin, but you also get access to a bunch of Bright Bomber themed core items to build in your 
LEGO Worlds. We're not sure if this one will be free like the first, but if not, it'll be pretty cheap anyway. Another weapon being upgraded later this season is the Tactical AR. This thing already got an update after being a standard AR for John Wick, then getting revamped with a working scope. Now it's back, and this time, you get to choose. You'll be able to run it with or without a scope, even choosing the type all thanks to mod benches. Turns out there's already brand new icon emotes arriving too, with the first being If We Ever Broke Up by Mae Stevens. It's a synced emote, meaning you'll be able to do it with your duo, which is perfect for the song. Not the only collab dropping in the item shop soon, because fans who've been waiting for one to return might just be in luck. This update has re-added shop tabs for John Wick, Dragon Ball, and of course, Marvel. A bunch of icon skins are also returning, like Mr. Beast and Marshmallow, thanks to their brand new Lego styles. One tab you should pay attention to, though, is Tron. It's already come back multiple times before, but now there's an extra tab, leaving people wondering if part two is right around the corner. And uh, that is definitely the case for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. It already had tons of items taking over the shop, but now the emotes from the free pass are going to be dropping for anyone who missed out on them. They'll release next time the turtles hit the store, so if you didn't complete the event pass, and now is your chance to grab them. Unfortunately, they won't be free this time, but at least you'll have better luck grabbing the ranked cup rewards later in April. Just like the previous ones, they'll have a ranked edition of the Victory Umbrella, which you can use to show off at the end of the season. You'll be able to earn these three loading screens along the way as you reach a total of 75 points to claim the Pantheon Ranker Umbrella, which honestly looks so much better than the original. For anyone celebrating Ramadan this year, Fortnite has got you covered once again. They usually put out a Lantern Festival event with a few free rewards, and while it doesn't look like we're getting anything this time around, they did go all out with skins instead. You'll be able to pick up a new bundle featuring Nora and Anwar in the item shop. Not only that, but Cypher will also be making a return for Ramadan, and that is not the only creator we'll be seeing. Soon, Sir Sanks will receive a locker bundle, and the best part, he has handpicked it to match the theme of Season 2. And the same goes for Juice World. That's right, he is finally coming to the game after fans have been begging Epic to add him. We heard his manager say something was in the works a while back, and now we know what it is. He'll be getting a special Fortnite Festival collab with several jam tracks dropping in a bundle. He'll even be able to play them as emotes in BR2. We're expecting Maroon 5 too, who'll be getting a few songs added as well. Not the only new thing for Festival players, though, because because soon you can expect a hidden collab to drop that no one was expecting. Fender guitars are coming to Fortnite, and you'll be able to pick them up soon. They're basically replicas of a popular brand in real life, and now you can use them on the stage and game. Or take them straight into Battle Royale with the new instrument emotes that let you dance and perform stunts with your currently equipped guitar, drums, or mic. Earlier we talked about how LEGO will release its UEFM mode sometime this year, and now it's also been leaked that the same treatment will apply to Rocket Racing. All we know as of right now is that Epic has started testing island tags for Rocket Racing custom tracks. The amount of possibilities this update could have is insane, and I think this is what will make Rocket Racing have a massive rebound in 2024, but let me know how you feel about it in the comments. That is everything we know coming in Fortnite Season 2. Click on screen right now to watch 50 secrets and easter eggs. Stay tuned for even more. I really hope you guys are enjoying the season. It's been Tommy, and keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.